people always ask me about the use of the wrist in the forehand shot. And this one, I really pronated my wrist to the shot. You get a lot more power when you do that because you get another hinge on your shot. Because then you get the shorter turn, you get the knees, you get the hip, and the torso rotation, elbow, and then you add the wrist and you have one more hinge to your shot. But it's a delicate hinge. And we'll take a real close look at it. You want to lay back the wrist before impact, turn the arm on impact, don't flick the wrist, and then your pinky points to your target. Okay? You want to keep the wrist pretty much in the L position throughout, except when you make impact and you turn the arm through your shot. Watch it slowly, it will go through it frame by frame. Right on impact, you're perpendicular, and then you're going to let the racket flow through the shot. See, I'm lifting the ball with the frame, perpendicular still. Now I'm through, but look at my wrist, not flicking it, just kind of turning on the shot, using my whole arm to turn it over. See, I go all the way over the top, and then you follow through. 